So in this video, I'll walk you through how I make $250 every single day with Framer without selling anything. And now that's the crazy part. So my name is Nandi, this is Framer University and let's get started. So if you don't know me already, I'm Nandi. I created Framer University a few years back in 2023 and uh, yeah, I've been sharing free tutorials, resources, as you can see on the Framer Universe website, every single day without stopping. And I know that it sounds crazy and it, it kind of is. Uh, but yeah, I've been sharing stuff for free every single day since 2023, January. I did this video, I just kind of want to give you a sneak peek into how much money you can make with Framer, even when you're not selling like templates, you're not doing like client projects and you're not doing these things. Actually, I sold one thing, which was like consultation, but I stopped that, but I'm gonna also show you that in this video. So without any further ado, let's actually dive into the juicy stuff. So the first revenue source is the most obvious one, Famer Affiliate. So let's actually first take a look at the old Framer affiliate platform, which was a first promoter. So when I started in 2023, yeah, I started in January, but I, and I got accepted into the program, or maybe it wasn't even a thing in January. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, it seems like my first, or maybe it wasn't my first uh, earnings got, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. So uh, yeah, but you can see that March <laughs> 2023, <laughs> it's $100, bro. It's it's crazy. We started here. Um, yeah, so you, you see that you kind of have to build things up um, because yeah, at first it's just going to be a, a, a few hundred dollars. You can see then it kind of died down. I don't know why again. I have no idea what happened there. But then it sort of started going crazy. And in 2024, you can see how it like skyrocketed. And I was like, wow, you can actually make money with this. Crazy. And yeah, it's been doing like it. I think it got to 1K 2024 November. Actually, like just think about it. Like I started in 2023 January. And I made my first 1k month as a Framer affiliate in 2024 November. That's almost two years. Crazy. Um, yeah, but you can see that it, it, it had like a 2k month and then it died down again. You can see this here at the end. It, this doesn't mean that I'm no longer making money. This just means that uh, Framer now has a different affiliate platform uh, that we're going to take a look at in a second. But we can see that it had 16k uh, overall, uh, which is pretty good. So let's go into the next one, which is still affiliate, but now the new platform, which is on Dub. And you can see here that now the last 30 days looks you know much better um with four thousand two hundred dollars i just actually i just started like recording this video and i kind of like prepared all these links and i was like what the hell is this and i, <laughs> I just realized that actually um like like 30 minutes ago i got an email that someone like subscribed to really really expensive framework plan as you can see here uh and if you don't know already, like Framer gives you 50% of each subscription that they get through your link. So this guy paid 1,500 almost, and I got, you know, 50% of that. And it seems like the same person subscribed to something. I, I actually don't really understand how these work and how these are broken up because it seems like this is the same person, multiple payments. But yeah, it's almost 1,000. For, for the day, that's that's my, my biggest affiliate um, revenue so far from like one customer. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, pretty good months nowadays. We can also take a look at all time to see how it looked from from the point where where we switched from the old platform to the new one. So 2025 20, April, 
it's been around 2k going up to 3 and now as you can see it's kind of like staying on that 3k number in the past couple of months which is really great but you have to understand that like the best thing that you can do is selling framework templates and then attaching your like affiliate tag to your remix links because that way you are getting the money after each sale when you're selling the template and you're also getting the affiliate revenue once the customer actually subscribes to a, frame, uh, to a framework plan. Um, here for me, it's not really the case. Like I'm not selling framework templates. So people just find my links, I guess. Maybe they click one of these resources. And for example, if you know, Framer is linked here, this is actually a affiliate link. So if they click this and they like sign up to Framer, then they're gonna get like attached to me. So if then they later subscribe to a plan, it's gonna, you know, like count as an affiliate sale. So, so yeah, but still pretty good money, I guess. 20K since the, since the switch. Um, yeah, pretty good. So yeah, that's the first main revenue source for me as someone who's not selling anything, uh, Framer Affiliate. Now let's go into the next one, which is, you know, obviously the YouTube channel. You can see the last 28 days here, uh, 3K, which is pretty good again. However, as you can see, if we take a look at the last six months, you can see I had like over 3K months, even 4K. But then in September, I have no idea what happened. Like all, like my views stayed the same, but like the revenue just went down. I, I don't really know what happened um, in September. Uh, last year in September, I didn't really have this effect. So I have no clue. But thankfully in October, it kind of jumped back up and now it's, um, yeah, it seems like it's going up again. So that's really great. We can also just for fun kind of just take a look at the like kind of like the old time earnings and uh, this isn't what i wanted to see yeah this is what i want to see if you go to old time it's gonna be really really funny to see that in 2023 when i started like uploading i actually started uploading in 2023 april right here so look at how much you have to like post and like grind in order to make your first like how much? $73. So from April to November, actually that wasn't the first one. October was the first one with 27. Okay. So from April to October, I was just, you know, uh, uploading the videos because you have to reach like 1000 subscribers, I think on YouTube and also something like 4,000 hours of watch time to be eligible uh, for the YouTube, I don't even know what it's called, like partner program maybe, maybe, I don't know, to be able to you know make money um, from the ads. And even when you start making money, it will be, you know, <clears throat> a little bit slow at first. <laughs> so you can see just a few hundred dollars here, even in 2024 May, so last year, June, 400, 600, September. And then it just started again going off like crazy. In like, actually I would say this year, January, as you can see, it just started going up like crazy. So in May it was 3,500 and you can see it was pretty good for these few months uh, during the summer. So yeah. YouTube is pretty good, but you have to really grind so much and you have to keep going um, for a long time to see some some serious revenue. You know, maybe you, you're gonna get some, like, I don't know, get lucky or something and blow up in like a week or something, but you know, that's not really likely. So, so most people actually see like a chart, something like this when they start YouTube, like they have nothing for a long time and then they like, not blow up but yeah they just start making a little bit more so yeah that's um that's the youtube i think the old time is around thirty thousand, so that's pretty cool and so yeah affiliate and youtube is a two thing that you can rely on as someone who's not selling anything but there was a point where i was like okay actually maybe i should start something so i actually started selling my time 
and I was yeah doing like these little support sessions. First, I had my price at like a hundred dollars for one hour, and um, I did that for a long time, and then I switched to two hundred. I don't remember when. Uh, honestly, some time here in I, I don't know. Honestly, some somewhere here. Um, yeah, but you you can kind of see uh, you know the chart here as well. Uh, you know, at first when I was doing this, um, I just actually had I can I can actually show you like I just had this live support here on the website, and I wasn't really promoting it anywhere. Maybe once, like in a while, I posted something on Twitter that I'm actually doing these calls maybe like in a few youtube videos but no, no nothing crazy like no crazy promotions and so people could just come to this site and just you know click the link go to cal.com slash famer university and they were able to like schedule these calls with me so yeah i'm no longer doing this but it seems like you can actually schedule no you cannot because yeah it says it's not available but yeah this was something i was doing and you can see that at first it wasn't even anything crazy like i got maybe a few calls every now and then but you can see that the revenue wasn't anything crazy here in like in the start of 2024 and then and again just i have no idea what happened here like in 2025 january it just started going crazy and I just noticed that like every week almost every day I, I was having calls and like yeah it was just crazy um but yeah then I then was like okay I'm, I'm not gonna do this anymore because yeah ultimately I just I, I don't really want to sell my time to be honest uh because with this you know you're like okay for one hour you're gonna make I don't know 200 dollars or something and that's it like you have maybe eight hours in a day and you're kind of like kept at that uh, unless you raise your prices. But yeah, it was a little bit too much and I wanted to work on some other stuff. So I just canceled this whole thing. So yeah, but this was also something um, that I was doing. So yeah, these are some of the revenue sources that I have uh, currently except the support calls. I had a few extra ones throughout the years but I haven't really included that you know every now and then I did some client work but it was really like to be honest I'm not a big like fan of client work so I just did it if I really needed money for something or something like that where I was I was in a mood or something that's that's not something that happens often with me but but yeah that was also something that I did but that wasn't really like related to Frame University I guess because because or maybe it was I don't know maybe they found me because of frame university I don't know so yeah um, that's it that's that's how I make um, money with framer without actually sending anything if you have any questions about I don't know making money with framer um, make sure to drop a comment I'm gonna do my best to help you and yeah I actually think that framer is like an amazing opportunity at the moment to make money with it uh, I'm seeing a bunch of people in the Framer challenge. So I don't know if you know this, but if you go to framer.com slash challenge, you're going to see a leaderboard. <laughs> and you can see that a bunch of people are making serious money with this. So I don't know if you know the context. Framer launched this program where if you set a goal that you, first of all, I'm, I'm going to make 10K by the end of the year. And if you make that goal or hit that goal, Framer is going to, like add 10% bonus on top of what you made. So if you set like 10K goal, they're gonna give you 1K extra. So again, you can see people are actually like making some great money. Like look at this one, for example, it's like 19K. I was going for like, I don't know how many weeks at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks, 19K with framer pretty amazing so if i were you i would start doing something to capitalize on this opportunity so yeah make sure to like this video if you liked it if you didn't like it dislike it and subscribe for more and i'm gonna see you in the next one